Hey, welcome to EPN. My name is Victor Lucas. We bring you the latest in everything cool every single day. And this one's going out to our buddy, Nicholas Stephenson, who had some kind comments to say about my very cute daughter. Thank you very much, pal. This rundown is for you. Marvel may have found a very marvelous Captain Marvel. Variety reports that Brie Larson, who just won an Oscar for her role in Room, is the front runner to play Carol Danvers in the hero's first big screen adventure. No official announcements have been made, so the news might change, but we hope it doesn't, because Larson would be perfect for the role. In the comics, there have been several different versions of Captain Marvel over the years. The Carol Danvers version, formerly known as Ms. Marvel, is a U.S. Air Force pilot who gets superpowers after her DNA is fused with DNA from the Kree aliens who were recently seen in Guardians of the Galaxy. She then joins the Avengers team, which means that even though her solo film isn't slated to hit theaters until 2019, there's a good chance that she'll appear before that in the two-part Avengers Infinity War. It's also worth pointing out that Captain Marvel will be the first MCU film headlined by a female superhero. Sorry, Scarlet. You at least recognize me. The smallpox pandemic in New York City is spreading to your local movie theater. Ubisoft is joining forces with Hollywood yet again to turn Tom Clancy's The Division into a big screen movie. Variety reports that Jake Gyllenhaal is set to produce and star in the film, which might be distracted because he looks nothing like the character that I created in the game. Gyllenhaal is no stranger to video game adaptations. In 2010, he starred in the big screen adaptation of Ubisoft's Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, so hopefully the Division movie will be better received. Ubisoft has been very anxious to turn their game properties into films. The Assassin's Creed movie comes out this December, and movies based on Splinter Cell, The Rabbids, and Watch Dogs are also in development. We work in the dark to serve the light. Speaking of Ubisoft, the publisher is currently going through an intense corporate boss battle. They might be on the verge of a hostile takeover by the massive corporation Vivendi, which recently did a similar hostile takeover of Ubisoft's sister company, Gameloft. Hostile takeovers aren't uncommon in the business world. Basically, one company buys another without its consent by going over the heads of the directors and buying out at least 51% of the shares from stockholders. If Vivendi does get a hold of Ubisoft, it's hard to say what this would mean for gamers. Vivendi owned Activision until 2013, and they have numerous subsidiaries in the film, music, and online streaming markets. Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot has vowed to fight the takeover. Don't die. A key feature of the online shooter Overwatch isn't being delayed after all. Yesterday, Blizzard Entertainment announced via Twitter that the game's highly anticipated ranked competitive mode would not be released on the PC until mid to late July, which is about a month longer than expected. Many fans were disappointed by the news, but it turns out that it was actually a silly mistake on Blizzard's part. A few hours later, they updated their statement saying that they actually meant to say that the mode would arrive in mid to late June. Naturally, they didn't correct their mistake until after we finished yesterday's rundown. Oh well. Thankfully, we'll be getting the new mode soon. Ranked competitive modes are an important part of many online games. They're basically a more intense version of normal player versus player based around a system of divisions and tiers, and players love them because you can rank up faster and collect more rewards than normal. Blizzard still hasn't offered a release window for the console version of the mode. An all-star basketball player is gonna be the cover boy on NBA 2K17, and no, it's not me. 2K Sports has revealed that the latest edition of their annual basketball game will boast the handsome face of Indiana Pacers all-star shooting guard Paul George. He's a big fan of the NBA 2K games and previously served as a guest commentator in last year's NBA 2K16 Road to the Finals Championship. NBA 2K17 will hit the court on September 20th. If you're anxious to play it, anyone who pre-orders the game will be able to pick it up four days early and also get access to extra in-game content. If you're the type of person who just has to catch them all, take a look at this. Nintendo has unveiled the two all-new legendary Pokemon that will debut in the new 3DS game, Sun and Moon. They're the Psychic Steel-type Solgaleo and the Psychic Ghost-type Lunala, both of which hail from the new Alola region. So far, they're the only legendary Pokemon that have been announced for the game, but there will be more regular Pokemon, and players will be able to have the ability to transfer over their existing monsters from previous games via the Pokemon Bank. Pokemon Sun and Moon will hit the 3DS worldwide on November 18th. This isn't the only new Pokemon adventure on the way. The augmented reality game, Pokemon Go, is coming to iOS and Android devices this summer. Players will use their mobile devices to seek out and find Pokemon hidden in real-world locations and challenge people that they encounter in real life to Pokemon battles. The footage you're seeing now is an early concept trailer, so the final game probably won't look quite this good. 
Netflix is about to get a heck of a lot more happy little trees. Classic episodes of the PBS series The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross are now available to stream on Netflix for the first time. Yes, this means you can sit back and relax as you watch the late Bob Ross take you into his magical world of painting using his almighty brush to create all the happy trees, big old mountains, and windy streams that you could ever want. Netflix doesn't have every episode of the show. What's available now is a 26 episode collection under the title Bob Ross, Beauty is Everywhere, but hopefully more episodes will be available soon. This isn't the first 21st century streaming debut for Bob Ross. All 400 episodes of The Joy of Painting were recently streamed on Twitch, raking in more than 5 million views. Very light, ooh, just barely, barely grazing the canvas. Oh, just, mm, barely touch it, barely touch it. Make love to it, gently, very gently. Caress it, see there? And before we go, take a look at the first trailer for the latest update for Grand Theft Auto Online. It's called Further Adventures in Finance and Felony and allows you to become the CEO of your own criminal empire, complete with new missions, modes, vehicles, and weapons. It launches June 7th. Publisher Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick recently said that they won't be supporting GTA Online with new updates forever, but for now, we'll enjoy the new content while it lasts. Bye. That's it for our rundown today. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back again with a brand new one tomorrow. Happy painting. God bless. We'll see you next week. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.